Back in 2013, Adult Swim ran some advertisements with Team Fortress 2 characters made in Source Filmmaker to talk about a new season of The Venture Brothers. These spots were decent enough, and most viewers were excited to know that this promotion also included some exclusive Adult Swim themed hats. Remember when people only joked about hats? What hasn't been told publicly is the story behind these advertisements and the partnership they signaled. Valve was working on a Team Fortress 2 television show for Adult Swim in 2012 and 2013, and due to Valve's inability to work with third parties, meet deadlines, and have adverse reactions to limits and guidelines, this never happened. However, the results are still floating around the internet in surprising locations. In 2010 or 2011, a writer at Valve started work on a TF screenplay that was meant to be feature length. The original topics, themes, and directions are unknown currently. However, what's known is that a few artists at Valve took interest, and this product was officially being worked on in 2012. Around this time, Adult Swim, the nighttime block of mature animated TV shows along with surreal comedies and dubbed anime, approached Valve with a pitch for a 15-minute source filmmaker animated television show surrounding the mercs of Team Fortress in the style of the incredibly popular Meet the Team shorts, of which many Valve fans would agree were in very low quantity. Now, when Adult Swim approached Valve, it ended up being incredibly opportune timing, as it was decided to use a cut-down version of the screenplay for a pilot episode, which Adult Swim wanted by mid-2013. What happened, however, was that this professional relationship was still subject to the ever-present Valve time, and many of the deadlines were missed, and Adult Swim became worried. By late 2013 or early 2014, a rough animatic of the pilot was finally submitted to Adult Swim, however, it didn't fit many of the guidelines that the network required. For one, with this being a 15-minute show, the actual runtime had to be around 11 minutes to make room for an ad break, which Valve didn't even want. Valve initially submitted a short, closer to 20 minutes, which had to be rejected as the network could not afford this amount of time. The network repeatedly requested an 11-minute cut-down version of the pilot. Valve never followed these rules, reportedly thinking that since they were the ones being pitched this idea, they would have more wiggle room. The fact that production wasn't completed completely, with some temporary voice work by actors not known for specific parts, and animation not being completed or finalized in specific areas. This back and forth lasted months, and in early 2014, Adult Swim had enough. The network reportedly ordered 12 episodes of this series, but thought that since it was this difficult just for the pilot, the entire series would have taken years to complete. Adult Swim pulled the plug on Valve. Now that isn't to say Valve didn't have plans or didn't like this idea. During this development period, there were writers working on the first group of episodes, along with outlining all future episodes. It's also fairly obvious that this pilot eventually did pretty much get finished, and was released in early summer of 2014 with the Love and War update called Expiration Date. While it is known that certain scenes were cut from the initial cut originally submitted to Adult Swim, such as a scene with the Heavy and Strawberries, the original feature-length screenplay has yet to be released to this day. It's also widely known that Ashley Birch, the voice of Miss Pauline, was contracted at Valve to write for this show, of which only one episode was ever released. What's only slightly known are the outlines and script parts written for the other 11 or so episodes. There is evidence to suggest, along with some rumblings that have been around in the community for years, that the Team Fortress comics are using a plot outline originally intended for this television show. Meaning, if everything had gone according to plan, and if Valve was capable of working under deadlines and working within Adult Swim's guidelines, the entire arc of the comics would have been finished in a single season of television, not five years and counting. Now I want you to think of the potential for something like this. Updates could have been created and set to release around the times of episodes. A second season could have happened. Team Fortress 2 would be something that you could watch an entire season of on Hulu. In an alternate universe, this is the case. But now, we are still waiting for the conclusion to the comics, and as a lead artist on the project said, they're not even working on it right now. Have a good day. Adios.